I brought you the rest of the money. You see? When I give my word, I, I keep it. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hit you. I must have been meant to have thought. I understand. Now Valentine's gone. I don't know what to do. What's going to become of me? Here. Surely he... Friends who could help you in his factory. What was the name of it? The Globus Metal Company. It started Grimwald. But I don't think he had friends there, except Herr Fliege. But he never went to the works. Well, couldn't he help you? I think he might. After all, he put up the money for the factory. It really belongs to him. Why don't you write to him, then? I don't know where he lives or anything. I only met him at a nightclub he goes to the top. Oh, it's a wonderful place. Only the smartest people. Dancing, drinking, nothing but champagne. But it'll be ages before I can go there again. Even though I wasn't married to Valentine, do you think I should go into mourning? Well, I don't think it would be quite the right thing to do. And I'm sure that Valentine wouldn't like you to stay at home and be sad and lonely. We'll, um, we'll go there if you like, Nick. You see, I am lonely too. You poor thing. It's worse for you. After all, Valentine wasn't a murderer. Yeah. No, Valentine wasn't a murderer. Are you all right? What went wrong last night? Valentino, someone must have told the police. They were there waiting. Yes, I know. I know. I was there. I saw it. But did you see Valentin? Did you speak to him? What happened? He's dead. Fell in front of a train just half an hour before I got there. With Valentin gone, what hope is there? Valentin must have talked to someone. This is more than chance. Berlin dead in Hamburg. Valentin here. Someone's getting desperate. Paul. Paul Ravitch. We must find him. Somebody might know at the factory. I've got the address. They've plastered my description all over the city. I don't risk going out in daylight again. I will. No, don't I forbid it. They've killed twice, they might do it again. You've got to keep out of this. You must answer, they know you're here. Captain Sawyer. No police protection? Where is he? Even if I knew, do you really think I would tell you? Don't be a fool, Anna. We know you've been helping him. Why do you waste your time on me? Valentin Slaughter wasn't killed accidentally. There's no reason to suspect that. Unless it was Van Helder that killed him. Why should Simon kill his own witness? Well, maybe he was a witness, but not the kind that Van Helder wanted. And let me tell you something. The police are scouring the city and they have orders to shoot if necessary. So keep clear. Bob, please. Perhaps you'd like to take his fingerprints. He's, he's new, isn't he? Where did you get him? It's a she, not a he. I bought her for company. Anna, I'm really sorry things are working out like this. If there's nothing else you want to talk to me about, please go. All right. Have it your own way. But if you should need me, you can still call me at headquarters, you know. Sorry to disturb you, Florian, but I understand you complained about the stove smoking. Yes, that's right. Then I'll take a look at it, if you don't mind. Yes, please come in. Simon, 
That's all right. Take this. Shh. Why what? It's a sweep. What's so funny about a sweep? He's wearing one of those top hats. All Berlin sweeps wear top hats. Yes, but, but he's got a black face. I'm sure his own mother wouldn't know him. I've had a look at the chimney. Now about the stoves. You'd better have a look at Herr Myers. He always grumbles about it. This way, please. They're all out at lunch, so you won't be disturbing anyone. Good. Do you mind? They say it's lucky. Touching's not enough. Oh. If you want real luck, you must kiss this wheel. Don't move. You wouldn't really shoot me, would you, Anton? Not unless I have to. You needn't be afraid of me. But I am. Ever since I've heard that you'd broken out, I knew you would find me. I've been waiting for you. Look, Simon, I know what's in your mind. You want revenge. That's only natural. But it's just as natural for me to want to protect myself. Anton, I don't revenge myself on you. You didn't do the killing, neither did I. I want you to come to a lawyer and swear to that. I thought about that too, but I can't. I've got a wife and two children. What have you to fear? The others? Paul, You Paul. know very well that Valentine's dead, Anton. So? I've got all the more reason to be afraid. You think he was murdered? I didn't say that. Anton, all I want is justice. If I can't get that, then I may want revenge. I may even kill. Yes, I know that. And I don't blame you. But I've got the gun. Listen, Simon. I'll give you anything. But you must go away now. If you don't, I'll shoot you where you stand. I only have to say I did it in self-defense. There'll be no questions. Don't you realize you're a man without rights? If you promise not to make a mess, maybe I will give a kiss. But you can have a cup of coffee anyway. I'm sorry to disturb you again, Fraulein, but my partner couldn't quite finish yesterday. Quite all right. What happened? I found Anton at the factory. He's changed his name to Maya, but he won't talk because he's afraid and I can't force him. I'm a man without rights. I can be shot by anyone under the pretext of self-defense. I'm a dead man alive. Here's your coffee, sweet. And here's your kiss, sweetheart. That means that you'll be married soon, Marie. Sweeps are lucky, you know. <laughs> it's a long time since I saw one, Fräulein. For a long time, there were precious few chimneys in Berlin to sweep. Perhaps you'd better come back when he's finished. You must go to Anton yourself. If he won't help, you must find his wife. You must question her, play on her sympathies. We must find Paul. But if Paul killed Valentin and Anton's afraid, what chance have I got with him? I asked you to help me, not to question me. I've got a hideout in a cellar in Cornelistrasse. There's the address. Read it, memorize it, and burn it. If you find Paul, get rid of the detective and meet me there. Will you? 
You're losing faith. No, but I'm afraid you might kill. A man without rights is subject to no laws. It works both ways. Seymour, I love you. I want to go on loving you. There is a difference between seeking justice and... and killing. I thought you'd understand. Finished? Yes, I'm finished. We shall be honored. My hair, you would like champagne? I would, but I'll drink beer. I'm delighted to make your acquaintance, Madame. The waiter should pay, please. Bollinger 39. Poor little mink, don't worry. I'll see you looked after. A new Valentine business, a finance effect. Such a pity. A solid, hard-working man. Yes, a great loss for mink. Oh, mink has a resilient nature. She'll get over the shock, but you yourself. She'll be done. You will excuse us. Maybe you're not in the mood to dance. I haven't danced for years. <laughs> then let's try. I don't mean to be indiscreet, but Mink has told me your tragic story. Perhaps there's something I could do to help you. You're very kind. Not at all. But I know how hard life can be. I've had my share, but I've been lucky. So I like to be helpful if I can. I look on it as a sort of paying back for the help others have given me. I knew you didn't really care to dance. Shall we go back to the table? <laughs> <laughs> 